Garnet News Update, 25th of May, 3309. Aegis plans to manufacture a new improved version of the Xeno scanner to find out more about the Thargoid motherships, and it needs your help. The Alliance's scientific liaison to Aegis, Dr Maximo Fonseca, explained that after all that trouble getting through the Maelstrom's caustic cloud and successfully riding the massive energy pulse, it'd be quite nice if pilots were able to gather useful information about the Thargoid Titan hive ship that can be found inside. Existing composition and Xeno scanners are ineffective when used on the Titan, which Fonteca described as a Thargoid capital ship. So Aegis has designed a modified version of Professor Palin's original Xeno scanner, which should be able to identify points of interest on the outer skin of Titans. This will be their second upgrade to Palin's design. In January, Aegis released an enhanced version with a 2km scan range, far better than the original 500 meters. This third version of the Xeno scanner uses Thargoid pulse wave technology, which will allegedly give it a far larger scan area, while presumably also being tuned and refined to find the sorts of thing that might be interesting about the Titans. There are a number of interesting features already identified, including the large gateway filled with melted cheese that allows interceptors to enter and leave, smaller launch tunnels that occasionally disgorge scouts, heat vents and a carapace with a variety of potentially interesting features. Almost as soon as the Titans were discovered, it was found that careful use of an abrasion blaster on the yellow, red and green surface defects that can be found near the small launch tunnels, the heat vents and on the top side carapace liberates hitherto unknown materials, including heat exposure specimens, phasing membrane residue and hardened surface fragments, all of which are likely to become valuable for research and development of new technologies in the coming weeks. It's surprisingly easy to collect such materials from the Titan without interference from scouts, hunters and interceptors. The Titan makes a low noise that sounds like it's enjoying being scratched. However, for the coming week, Aegis is wanting some rather more mundane commodities, namely ceramic composites, polymers, gallium and indium, and it wants them taken to Muller Terminal in the Raab system. It also wants bounty hunters to protect the traders there, and it will reward the top 25% of participants in both initiatives with a free Pulse Wave Xeno scanner. Assuming the initiative reaches its base goal, the scanners will become available, presumably in return for some exotic materials, from all rescue ships shortly after the initiative ends on the 1st of June. <laughs>